ChatGPT now has vision, so it can actually read images that you upload. This makes it much more practical for everyday use. From diagnosing issues to solving problems to giving styling advice, whether that be in person or online, ChatGPT's new vision feature really enhanced the experience in ChatGPT. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to get started. Now, if you want to dive deeper into ChatGPT vision, then I recommend joining my course and community that I have for ChatGPT, where I go over real life examples and practical use cases for how you can use ChatGPT every day. And I also dive deeper in explaining the topics I'm going to touch in this video today. So in order to activate this new vision feature, you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is you need to have ChatGPT4, and once you have ChatGPT4, you should see this little image icon in the bottom left-hand corner of your prompt bar, and it says attach images. So when you select this button, you can choose an image from your desktop, or if you're using mobile, you can take a picture or select a picture from your camera roll. Now the first thing this image feature is very good at is diagnosing issues, whether that be in person, or on your computer. You can upload a photo, whether that be a screenshot or a picture from your phone to ChatGPT and ask it to diagnose the issue. You can even dive into some logical questions and ask it what might have happened in a certain situation. Let me show you a quick example. What I have here is this picture of a tree and a broken windshield on a car. And it looks like the limb of this tree is sitting on that broken windshield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT what might have happened in this picture. And I wanted to show you this because ChatGPT can come to conclusions based on what it sees in the image. And it does a great job at diagnosing your issue. So I said, based on the image, what might have happened? And as you can see, I uploaded this image of the tree with the broken windshield, and now I can send it off and ChatGPT can form a logical conclusion based on what happened in this image. And as you can see, it says, based on the provided image, it appears that a tree branch or part of a tree has fallen onto a car, causing damage to the windshield and potentially other parts of the vehicle. And then it goes on to say, this kind of incident might have been caused by severe weather conditions such as strong winds or a storm or the tree could have been weakened due to disease, decay, or other external factors. So as you can see, it's giving us all of the conclusions that it's drawing based on what it sees in this image. The next thing that ChatGPT Vision is very good at is giving you styling advice, whether that be in person or on your computer. Let me show you a few examples of how you can use it. So here I've attached an image of one half of my room that is quite messy right now, but there's not much going on on this side of the room. I usually never go over there. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me some styling advice or some ideas on what I could transform this room into. Now, since I have this picture of my room and I want to make it customized and it is an interior design thing that I'm dealing with, I'm going to go to my custom personas database that I have. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to creative arts and find interior designer. I'm going to add these to ChatGPT's custom instructions in order to get a tailored response for my situation and in order to make ChatGPT start thinking like a professional interior designer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to clipboard, head over to custom instructions and paste it in just like this. And now ChatGPT is thinking like a professional interior designer and speaking like one too. I'm going to hit save. And now I can type in my prompt that I have that out of the way. And that interior designer custom instructions was just an add-on. It's not a necessary step in order to make this work. I just like doing it because I think it provides a much better response and a better styling advice. If you want access to these 300 custom personas for pretty much anything you can think of, then you can purchase them using the link in the description or the top end comment. And this is the prompt that I came up with. This is the side of my room I never use. Please provide me styling advice in order to transform this into a more enjoyable space. You can add or take away as many things as you'd like. And between the image uploading feature and the custom instructions feature, we now have ChatGPT working as an interior designer for us. So I'm going to send this off and let's see what kind of advice I get. And as you can see, it gives me a comprehensive list of everything that I could change or different ideas in order for me to completely transform this space. And with the custom instructions activated, it's asking me these useful follow-up questions that are going to help me dive into how I actually want to transform the room and some of my needs. So it's not just giving me advice, but it's diving deep into my wants and my needs in order to give me that tailored advice. But it does a great job. It goes over wall treatment and color palette, furniture, lighting, decorative elements, functional additions, and it gives me tips within each one of these categories for styling this room. Now you don't only have to style in-person elements with ChatGPT, but you can also style online elements such as web pages. As you can see, I have my product page here on my website where I offer some of my AI products. And what I've done is I've uploaded it to ChatGPT in order to give me styling advice to increase my conversion rate. 
So now that I have this image uploaded, I can type in a quick prompt. And now it's very simple. A picture is worth a thousand words. You don't need to add all of the context of what's on your landing page or your product page. You can upload your picture and then upload a very simple prompt like shown. Give me a styling advice for my product page in order to increase the conversion rates. So we're getting straight to the point. We can send it off. And just from that simple prompt, it's giving me custom help. It's giving me 16 custom tips based on the picture I've uploaded in order to attempt to increase my conversion rates for product sales based on my web page. The next thing that many people might find useful is that ChatGPT has the ability to describe people. And you don't have to do this with real life people. If you're creating maybe a cartoon book or you have certain characters that you're putting in a short film, what you can do is you can upload them to ChatGPT, get character descriptions, roles, backgrounds, whatever you need for your story, your movie, your short film, your website, maybe you're doing an about page, whatever it is, ChatGPT can help you generate that. So as you can see, I have this headshot of myself and I know what I look like, I know how I act, but let's let ChatGPT describe me and let's let ChatGPT give me a role. What I can do is I can type out a simple prompt. As you can see, I said, describe the character shown in this image and give him a role. This character's name is Drake. So you can provide information you do want included and information you don't want included. We can send this off. And as you can see, it gets prompting right away with describing my look. Drake has a strong, expressive face with deep set eyes that suggest he's seen more than his fair share of life's ups and downs. His curly dark hair falls naturally and slightly raised eyebrows suggest a hint of curiosity or perhaps surprise. The slight smirk on his lips may indicate a mischievous side. So it's really diving down into the picture that it's being shown of me. And it is a little dramatic, but then it goes into a role. It says here that Drake is a detective with a specialty in cyber crimes. So it dives deep into this character role. You can upload more images and get more descriptions and more roles. The possibilities are limitless now that ChatGPT has this image uploading feature. So this has been a full guide for ChatGPT Vision. If you want to go more in depth on this, I recommend purchasing my ChatGPT Mastery course where we give in-person examples and dive deeper into each one of these topics. I will leave the link to that in the description or the top pinned comment below. With that being said, I also have a ton of free content here on my YouTube channel that you can learn from and become better at ChatGPT with. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.